Okay, guys, after further inspection on the uh, seal here, we can see where it's uh, leaking the dust through. Um, this bit here is not making a good firm press up against the bin, which is probably causing half the problem. And then the uh, join here where I've got the uh, foam starting and ending, okay, is uh, it's a little bit of a gap there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bit of foam off, we're going to get something a little bit thicker and narrower, and we're going to wrap it around several times, which should eliminate this problem, and being a bit thicker should eliminate this not pressing up against the wall properly. So we'll do that and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so we've cleaned off the uh, old seal strip and we've put a uh, narrower but uh, thicker that way. Uh, strip and we've wound it around three and a little bit times So that'll eliminate the little gap we had up here and because it's thicker should help press a bit firmer on the uh, Inside the bin, so we'll see how this goes Okay, after doing a little bit of sanding Testing the uh, new seal out. It appears to have uh, sealed quite nicely all the way around the bin Okay, and uh, quite a lot of uh, fine dust in there because I have been um, sanding, so it's all sanding dust, and there's actually, I'm amazed how much fine dust has stayed on the outside here as well, so that's pretty positive. Um, also looking at the uh, top outlet pipe, there appears to be a lot less uh, dust in there, so that's obviously stopped our problem with the, a lot of the dust bypassing the uh, cyclones. So. Uh, the new seal worked quite well. Okay guys, now we move on to a bit of a slideshow just to give you a bit of an idea of how the uh, cyclone was built. Um, I'm not going to go into a full tutorial on how I went about building it, um, but I hope this helps anyone who's thinking of doing something similar. Okay, for starters we're looking at the uh, two-piece lid, okay, which was built out of uh, plywoods that uh, a couple of layers of it were stuck together to make up the depth required for the uh, five channels that come from the top of the cyclones. Uh, of course we have the 40mm uh, poly pipe or PVC pipe coming out of the cyclones into that lid, okay, which were all glued in place. Um, next up we have the upper body of the cyclone, um, just sizing up the uh, positioning and everything of the cyclones here. There's one of the uh, cones that was uh, cut up and uh, neatened up to fit on top of the uh, larger PVC pipe that was used for the upper part of the cyclones. Okay, now from there we cut a, a hole in the side of the cyclones to put the inlet pipe in. Okay, place the five cyclones in a circle um, to help the air go through smoothly. Okay, there we're looking at the inlet pipe for the upper unit okay and here we're building a bit of the frame to go around the uh, outside of the inner five cyclones okay um, it was all glued together and screwed together to uh, add a bit of strength obviously and um, later the um, polycarbonate sheets were added on the outside to give it a nice smooth area and to obviously block the air from going straight in. Okay, next we've got the uh, polycarbonate sheets. You can see a lot of holes being drilled in one of them. Okay, that's the uh, shielding that filters the larger particles out of the um, inside cyclones. Okay, next this is the uh, top and bottom rims for the bin. Okay, I'd like to thank my friend Ben who helped me put the uh, bin together because with all those uh, bits of wood we had to tack together it made it very hard to build the frame up. Okay, next we put the uh, base on the bin, sized up the uh, polycarbonate sheet for the inside and then we uh, put the smaller bin on the inside of course, sized everything up with the uh, the rest of the job and made sure everything was going to fit fine. All looks good thus far. Okay, 
Now for ease of carrying we uh, created some handles and um, I wanted some handles that were nice and comfortable nice and round so when you're carrying a big load of dirt it's not going to hurt your hands okay at this point the project's more or less finished just painting up uh, all the bits and pieces okay keep it all to keep it all look uh, looking uniform and to obviously make sure that the uh, wood doesn't soak up moisture and stuff and uh, should help the uh, cyclone last a lot longer once all the paint had dried, uh, shifted all the bits into the shop and started putting it together and uh, getting all the pieces together ready um, taking the protective sheets off the polycarbonate as you can see you got the uh, sheet screwed into the bin there place the inner bin on the inside Okay. now all these parts other than being screwed in place were also glued um, uh, one point for strength and an extra bit to, uh, just for um, sealing any spots where air might leak out, out around the edges um, pretty important because you don't want dust uh, bleeding out of the cyclone inner or outer area okay um, so all the uh, edges were all sort of glued in sealed to make sure we wouldn't have any leakage and there's the finished product now that's it for the time being guys um, I hope to have a video up not so much soon but in a couple of months to um, basically give you a, a rundown on how the thing goes over time thanks